Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And before you watch this video, if your team disagrees with everything I say, then ditch this video. But if your team is new, if your team is looking for some other way to increase how many missions your team can do in First Lego League, if you're just looking for something different that your team is like, ah, we just gotta figure something out in our robot game, today is the video for you. It's gonna be the four reasons why your first Lego League robot should have four motors. So if you wanna hear this, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so you're in first Lego League. You're a, either a coach or you're a team member and you're trying to figure out how do we up our robot game game. And so here today, what I wanna do is offer this advice to you now, this is just a regular educator bot. You guys know I love the educator bot. And what I want you to think about is, can we put a fourth motor on our educator bot here, or any robot that you're running, to do more missions, to get more points, to save more time? And what I have to do is give props to the tech warriors. There might have been a team that did this before, but I didn't see it. The Tech Warriors were the first team that I saw, props to you, Coach Oliver and the Tech Warriors from Michigan, were utilizing this fourth motor to just get more done within their two minutes and 30 seconds. And so I was just scratching my head going, yeah, if you're trying to get more done, add another motor. First Lego League says you can have up to four motors, so why not utilize this. Now, you might say, hey, Mr. Hino, is there any downsides to this? Sure. You know I've been always preaching about keeping it simple, but if you feel like your team has graduated, like, hey, we've kept it simple, we're looking for something more, we're ready for the next challenge, then today is for you. Okay, so reason number one, you should go to four motors. Now, what am I talking about? Well, your two drivetrain motors most teams have that initial motor in the front, which is three, and then this fourth one here in the back. And I'm gonna show you how to build this in a second. But the number one reason why you should have a fourth motor is because First Lego League says you can have four motors. And why not utilize every tool that you can have on your robot to get more things done? And so I would say, hey, push the limit. If you've used three motors before and you're feeling like we can get more done, we seem to run out of time, then use this fourth motor to get more done, to not have to, you know, do extra coding, worry about extra mess ups, you just have that fourth motor. The second reason I would say is have a fourth motor is it allows you to get more done in that two minutes and 30 seconds. If your team has ever said, we wish we had more time. We wish we can get more missions done. We can only get five missions done and we wish we, we could do six or seven. Having this extra motor can allow your robot to multitask, which means if your robot goes out and just grabs something and comes back, why not have your robot come up, grab something and move something else with this motor where you're doing two things at once, or if you like to say it, killing two birds with one stone. And so what you're gonna find out is when you utilize these two motors, you're able to get more done. If you've ever taken in the groceries and said, man, I wish I had an extra arm, this is one of those cases where you can have the extra arm or whatever, the attachment, to do what you wish you could do. The third reason you should have a fourth motor is you don't have to keep turning your bot around. So notice we have the front motor and then this back motor. So what I can do is come forward and do something and then just go backwards and get something else done. I don't have to mess with turns. And you guys know in First Lego League, turns are the death of some teams where you're turning and now, you know, every turn is different. It's like, this worked yesterday. Why is it different today? What you can do is if you have your robot going straight forwards, you can have this going straight backwards, we hope, to get something done on the front and the back. 
So pretty neat, huh? And the fourth reason you want this fourth motor is you're saving a lot of energy and time where again, time is the issue. And you know, you, you always have those cases where you're trying to get chores done. You're trying to get things done at work or school. And you always just seem to like be able to concentrate on one thing at a time, but wish you could have the second thing done at the same exact time. And so with first Lego league, those two and a half minutes, you guys know, go by like in a blur, it's gone. And so what you're able to do now is be able to attack from the front and then attack from the back. And you know, you always have those cases where you're like, man, I, if I could just, you know, have something extra to be able to get missions done with, it's almost like an octopus. You can, octopus can grab something and then fight off another thing at once. And so in this case here, you're just having more weapons to be able to help your team just get more missions done. And so today what I want to do is show you how to attach this motor on if you're going to use uh, an educator bot. You don't have to, but you guys know I love the educator bot. And then be able to demonstrate for you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do two missions at once instead of having to turn around and have to jeopardize the first mission, hopefully by getting the second one done. So let's go to it. All right, everybody, I have my robot educator here and I followed the same instructions to build the robot educator. And when you get to this part here, instead of putting the regular black pins, I put the extra long blue pins. And what that does is it allows me to put this beam right here Oh, that was smooth. Okay. And then what that d then does is it allows me to put my media motor right here in the back. And, you know, you can slide that however you want. Okay. So now I can utilize this motor uh, being able to put whatever I want on this. And so here was my plan. My plan was to just take this and now I can just put that right into there. Okay and lastly all I did was put a an axle through this part right here and this was just used to pick up you know game pieces like this and I just added more to increase the probability of picking up those pieces. So for those of you that are doing first Lego league, you always want to give your team a higher percentage of getting something accomplished. And if that's by putting extra, you know, whatever it might be in this case here, it's axles. Why not? Why not have three instead of one? And so that, you know, if, if this is off, then, you know, this might be able to pick something up. And so that's what this media motor attachment looks like. All right, guys, so here is the plan. The plan is for this robot to go forward, turn, and use this front motor to pick up this game piece. And the thinking is, you know, once it picks it up, you have two problems. Either number one, you have to turn around, and it would be hard to pick up this piece right here if there's already a piece on this one. And also, you're having to turn and then basically line up. So the thinking here would be, let's get this game piece with the front here, and we would just back up and come and use this second motor to pick up this one. And it's just trying to, um, you know, keep your team from having to make this turn, keep your team from having to possibly put this game piece in danger by having it fall off. Now you're you're right, there's other ways to retrieve these game pieces and this would just be one of those ways. But instead of turning around and, and possibly messing up your code and the robot going off course by turning around, here we would just do a, a straight backup and pick up this game piece. And then, you know, possibly take it back to base wherever that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this for you right now. 
Okay guys, so let me go ahead and show you this robot. I would have used a second medium motor, but I don't have a second medium motor. The cool part is I did have an extra large motor and it fits perfectly on this educator bot. And so all I did was I just added a, a beam here to basically retrieve things with the front. And then back here we have that secondary motor right here. And this would be used to retrieve things or slide things into place, whatever the mission might be. But you can just see how I can now do two things at once. I could, you know, I don't have to use this singular motor. If I only had this motor, it's not going to have to do everything here. I can do things with either motor. Okay guys, so there you have it. Mr. Hino's four reasons why you should have four motors. Again, talk this over with your team. This is not something where I want you to walk into your, your first Lego League meeting going, hey, Mr. Hino said we should have four motors. Take our robot apart. This is something where you want to get the blessings from the team, um, you know, being ready for something like this. If you're just starting off again, I'd say keep it at three just so that your team keeps it simple, the code is simple. You know, with the fourth motor, the downside could be your team becomes overwhelmed with the code. Like, oh yeah, we have motor A and now we have to run motor D and it could be overwhelming at times. So you just have to feel it out with your team, um, talk it out. And that's something that you can present to the judges. You know, we can you can say, we did three motors last year and we thought we were ready for four motors this year and hoping that it all works out. So hit me up in the comments section what a lot of you, you know, teams that are veteran teams, if you're running the fourth, fourth motor, what do you think about it? How has it helped out your team? Throw down in the comments section any downsides that I haven't covered with having four motors. And, you know, we just take it from there. It's experimenting, guys. You try something, and if it doesn't work out, you go back to simple. But if your team's ready, try the four motors, and you hopefully will see that it saves you time, allows you to multitask, and hopefully gets you more points in your robot game, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if I have given you just one ounce of good information because I want to keep it rolling to you guys, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.